What up, world? 502 King Power coming to y'all with another video, man. So, you know, when I was about 17, 18, I used to have this thing where I would ask any man older than me, if you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, I would ask any man who was older than me, what would you do differently in life if you could? If you could go back in time to your 20s, what would you do differently with your life? I got a bunch of different answers from people. Some people said I would enjoy life more. Some men said I would have married differently. I would have chosen a different spouse. Some men said I would have chosen a different career path or I would have got on my career path earlier on in life. Um, the most puzzling answer that I got by far came from my father. I asked him, so dad, what would you do differently if you could go back to your 20s? What would you do differently in life? Like, what would you change knowing what you know now? And his answer was so puzzling, but you know, over time I got it. And he said to me, pride, almost without, without even thinking about it. He just said pride. <clears throat> and he said he had too much pride. At the time I was wondering, how do you have too much pride? What is too much pride? What, what does he mean? Over time, God revealed that to me, what exactly that meant. Having pride, too much pride, can be the killer of great relationships, can be the killer of your life, man. It's too many times that having too much pride has ended up detrimental for people. People have lost relationships behind having too much pride. People have lost jobs behind having too much pride. People have lost their life behind having too much pride. You know, when, when you're in those situations and and you're faced with something, the last thing you want to have is too much pride. See, I used to think that having pride was what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to move with a certain level of cockiness, a certain level of esteem. And later on in life, I learned, man, that's, that's the farthest thing from the truth. You want to have as little pride as possible because pride, I'm going to tell you, one thing it does, it holds you back from progressing in life when you think you have it all figured out when you think that you're not wrong when you think that you're holier than thou or that you're better than your neighbor you block yourself from any kind of progression in life you block yourself from being able to experience better in life we have to be real enough with ourselves to know that we do not know everything that we are not the best at everything that we need help with some things that we are wrong sometimes see pride can stop you from making an apology to somebody that you know that you owe them an apology pride can make you never take an opportunity because you feel that you're too good and little do you know you may not have taken that first step because you thought that you were too big for that first step but you didn't know that that first step was leading up a whole staircase and that was just the first level but you never went there because of too much pride there's so many men that's lost their life behind too much pride, unable to turn and walk away in adversity, unable to say, you know what, this isn't worth it. Pride can kill relationships, it can kill your dreams, and it can kill you. I'm putting out this video because I don't want somebody to block the blessings in their life by having too much pride. No that you are constantly learning learn know that you are constantly evolving as a person will never be perfect human beings so for anybody to walk this earth with too much pride is just straight up ridiculous i got one bit of scripture here i'm going to share with y'all before i close this video out that ties into what i'm talking about <clears throat> now this comes from the book of proverbs proverbs i, I really want y'all to take some time on your own and just go and read through it i mean this is something that you don't even have to be uh, a Christian to read this. This is just life rules, things that you can go through and it's common sense, but it's things that we often don't think about. Uh, we often are looking for answers in the world and the answers are right in front of us. There are people who have been here. There are people who have been here long before us and they already laid out a manual. They've been through every single thing that you can possibly go through. With that being said, Take some time, read Proverbs, get you some knowledge at some point. And, and even if you've already read it before, just continue to pour it into yourself and let that grow and manifest within you. Now, I'm going to be reading from Proverbs. This is chapter 16, verse 18. 
Proverbs 16, 18. I always make sure to give y'all the scripture because I never want y'all to take my word for it. Go and look it up yourself. And this is Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. I'm going to share a quick story with y'all. There was a point in my life, man, I felt like I had everything that I wanted, everything that I could ever need. Um, during that time, I started becoming highly depressed because I'm like, man, I got all this stuff. I got all this stuff. Everything that I thought that I wanted, I have, right? So I started walking around with my nose up in the air, y'all. I started treating people like I was better than them. Even though I wasn't vocally saying something to them, in my head, I'm thinking like I'm better than people because I have A, B, C, and D. Well, I tell you this to say, shortly afterwards, shortly after me having all this stuff, and it was a very short amount of time, I started to fall. I started to fall. I started to lose everything. Every single thing I had set up in my life that I placed value in, I started to lose it. People, things, every single thing that I placed value in, I started to lose. Now, some people, they would go through this and not learn anything from it. Me personally, I learned that you never get so high on yourself to where you are not constantly growing, constantly evolving, constantly keeping that relationship up with God. When you allow yourself to fall off in certain areas because you think that you got it like that, you'll find out how quick that you don't get it like that. I'm not going to keep y'all too much longer, man. I appreciate y'all watching the video. If y'all made it to the end, like the video down below. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that notification bell so all the new videos make it to you first, man. It's 502 King Power. I love y'all. I'm out.